Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to school. Today is Friday. That's right, Friday, April 23rd, 2021. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning. Looks like it's a little cloudier today. I'm supposed to get a little bit of rain out there. What do you think, Perry? Yeah, you like the rain, I know. He does, he enjoys the rain. Um, I like it about this temperature. It's about perfect for me. Some people like it warmer. We all have different things that we like, right? Yeah, and that's okay. Hey, you know what? A few things I wanted to share with you. First of all, yesterday I forgot to mention a birthday on the radio show, but I, he did pick out of the prize bucket. Happy birthday yesterday to Casper Wright. Happy birthday, Casper. I know you had a great day, and I know you have some really cool plans this weekend and something special happening on Monday, you said. So happy birthday to you. Sorry that we had uh, not said your uh, name on the radio show yesterday, for birthday announcements. Yep, sometimes that happens. We make mistakes, huh, Perry? Yep, and what do we do? We make a mistake, we um, take responsibility for it, um, we apologize, and we let people know. Yeah, that's what we do. Whether we're kids or adults, we all make mistakes. It's always important to be responsible uh, and take responsibility for when we make a mistake and try and make it right as best we can. All right? Hey, you know what the other thing? Yesterday was Earth Day. Did you enjoy Earth Day, Perry? I know, it's one of your favorite holidays, or it's not a holiday, but it's celebration day, right, of the earth. Every day really is Earth Day, boys and girls. So we've talked about reduce, reuse, and recycle, and I wanna just talk to you briefly about those things. So first of all, reduce. So what can we do to reduce? Well, when you can, and when it's safe, we should walk more instead of using our car. That reduces the gas that your parents use. Also, when we use our cars, it adds to the pollution in the air. So the more we walk, it's actually better for us, right? Or fly, right? If you have wings, you can fly, um, than it is to take our car. Also, switch off electrical items, right? We've talked about that. Your lights, your TV, game consoles, all that kind of stuff. When you're not using them, turn them off. Uh, even if you think you're gonna come back in a little while, turn them off. Any amount of energy that you can save by turning off your game console instead of leaving it on or a TV or lights. Um, Turn off uh, your water when you're brushing your teeth. Did you think of that? You know what, when you're brushing your teeth and the water's running this morning, you could turn that water off and then just turn it on when you need to have the water. That way you're saving the amount. It's amazing, if everyone did that, how much water would that save? It would reduce, right? The amount of use of water. Also, you can reuse things. So we talked about reducing, now reusing. Um, when you're heading out to the store, you can take your own bags with you so that you're not using the plastic bags. You're reusing a bag and we're not adding to those uh, shopping plastic bags that, that you get at the store. Also, when something's broken, try and fix it. If you can fix or mend something instead of throwing it away, reusing it, that's better for the environment. Um, obviously, um, uh, if you're not wanting things anymore, instead of throwing them away, donating them to charity. So if you do that, that's a reusing. Someone else will get to use it um, instead of just throwing it away. Um, how about scrap paper? I think of at school. Remember, there's always two sides to a sheet of paper. So try and use both sides if you can um, instead of just throwing paper away. So that's ways we can reuse. And then recycle is the third one. So reduce, reuse, and recycle, the three R's. Recycle, um, think about it. We're using materials from things that you don't need. Um, by recycling, we're um, using material from things that you don't need anymore to make new materials, right? That's what recycling is about. We recycle paper and then we get new paper from it. We recycle plastics, we get new plastics from it. Um, so think of those kinds of things. Instead of throwing away your food, uh, you can turn it into useful compost. You know, now's the time of year we're thinking of gardens, right? Our plants and vegetables and stuff. So. Uh, composting actually takes your food waste and it turns it into a compost or like a dirt material that's great uh, fertilizer for your plants um, that's natural. Um, always see if you can buy things made from recycled materials. So again, taking something, we had, at the school we use recycled paper. So all the paper we use, it's already, it's recycled. So it was used before and then we're reusing that uh, from recycling. Also, it's important to try and sort your trash at home. You do have a waste container, a recycle container, and a trash. See how much you can put in your green can, your yard waste, how much you can put in your recycle uh, can.
working in and see if you can reduce the amount of trash that's gonna to go to the landfill. So that's always a fun thing you can do for your family. See if you can get better at it. Um, that's always a cool thing. At our house, um, sometimes we get excited when we have like even less than one can. You know, it's not, it's not even a full can that we can put out for trash because we're trying to recycle everything. Again, we talked about using the kitchen waste as compost in your garden. Um, and think about other things that can be recycled, right? Batteries, ink cartridges, things like that. Those are recyclable too. So think reduce, reuse, and recycle the three R's and that will help the earth. So those are just some things to think about, not only on Earth Day, which was yesterday, but every day of the year, even the day after, and the day after that, and the day after that. All right, boys and girls, let's have a great day of learning this Friday. Remember, get online with your Zoom meetings. Uh, do your uh, asynchronous work, the work that you would be doing at home, like iReady. Today's the last day to put your iReady minutes in for the week, so we can announce some names next week. I hope everyone is taking advantage of that. We know practice makes better, so let's do that if we can. All right, have a great day of learning, boys and girls, and always remember, Perry and all the staff here at Freilands care about you. Have a great day of learning and lead your families now in the Pledge of Allegiance. Take care.